mind you if you might be able to record the session um let's get you recording now and test it so big big warm welcome to our global cma family um it's it's great to be able to spearhead this initiative um along with ben and laura and scott and you know wherever you are in your coaching journey I know a lot of you might be just thinking about making that transition from you know, full-time employment over into your own coaching practice. Some of you may have already made that leap and have already started putting the wheels in motion and maybe others of you are for, you know, a couple of years down the track or further along your coaching business journey. So we just want you to know that wherever you are in this space, you're in the right place. And we're so excited to be able to support you moving forward. So we thought we'd just begin with um, looking at the different stages of a business and where the focus needs to lie. So the first stage of stage one is the setup stage. And the most important thing here to do or to focus on is sales. And the second stage is growth, and the most important thing there is marketing. And these two phases are going to be really where the core focus of our program is going to lie because you need to be able to generate leads from multiple sources, and you also need to be able to, to sell your products uh, and your services. So stage three is about scaling. And the most important thing there is people. Stage four is culture. And the most important thing there is all about leadership. And stage five is the creative stage. And the most important thing here is time and space. So for us, we're really going to be focusing on stage one and two. Now, we've got a couple of quotes here that, you know, I absolutely love. And the first is that doubt kills more dreams than failure ever will. And, you know, you've gone through this coaching program and you've achieved some, some really fantastic results in your coaching. And you've been able to create transformative change in your clients. But business is a whole different skill set, just following on from what Ben was saying earlier. You can have the, the best coaching skills, but if you lack in the business acumen side of things, you're not going to be able to make the impact that you really want to be able to create with your clients um, on the scale that you want to be able to make. So, you know, in terms of this quote, I think we all have that, that bit of self-doubt of stepping outside of our comfort zone of maybe not knowing what to do um, on the business side of things to really move the needle forward. And by having a team of supportive coaches, of mentors to hold you accountable, to, to give you the steps that work is something that can be really powerful in your coaching journey. And, you know, I think with, you know, with this next quote here, that you don't have to be great to start, that you have to start to be great, good old Zig Ziglar. Um, it's really about just taking that first step, kind of dipping your toe into the pond and seeing where it takes you, nudging your comfort zone and having the people around you to kind of hold your hand to support you, to be able to give you feedback, to have your best interest at heart throughout this process can be a great step in the right direction. And so with this training, you know, we have some real experts here who are going to be able to support you in this. And the program that we've developed, and we have done a, a, um, a trial of this program, which has been really successful just with our New Zealand market, which is why we've really wanted to, to make a few changes and to make it accessible on a global scale. And um, we thought we'd just go through the different phases with you and then soon I'll introduce the trainers. 
So the foundations is really for those who are just getting started and or even thinking about transitioning into coaching. Well, they may already have a coaching business, but it's not moving forward in the way that they would like. You know, maybe that structurally the foundations just aren't quite there yet, which is often the case when we're going at things alone. The next stage or the next module is the intermediate stage. And this is for those who want to have that digital edge and for those who have already got a coaching business or are just wanting a quick start. So the way that we look at it is that almost everybody should start with the foundations because although you may be a bit further along in your coaching business journey, oftentimes there are some holes or some, some gaps that need to be solidified before you can move on and have some real congruency with your messages, with your branding, um, as you kind of move forward and create um, a wider impact with your marketing and your advertising. We then have the advanced. Now the advanced program, this is for those who have been in business for two years or more, and they must already have a website or a digital presence. So the idea is that we will get you to the advanced, but to begin with, let's look at the foundations and the intermediate. So that's what we're going to be delving into tonight. So the great thing is, is that this program has been designed by coaches for coaches. So, you know, the four of us are coaches in our own right um, and also bring different expertise to the table. So Laura Craig, who is here tonight and will be taking you through a lot of the content, she is the founder of Vivo Marketing and 10CXO. And she's had a huge amount, I think about 10 years in corporate, working with some extremely big companies that you can see here. And they manage over 50 million in media. She worked for Unilever, L'Oreal, CUB. Um, and she's had, with her transition out of corporate and moving into her own coaching business, she's now supported over 130 small to medium sized clients. Laura has also done our training, although she's based in Australia, in Melbourne. She came over to New Zealand and has done our, our coach training. So really understands where we're all at. Then there's myself. Um, so as a lot of you know, I'm the New Zealand and Australia Director of Training for Coach Masters Academy. Um, so I've been in the coaching game for about you know, almost 10 years. And I've trained a lot of coaches and seen a lot of the trials and tribulations that they've gone through. Um, myself, personally, I've been able to build um, a couple of very successful coaching businesses that have been able to, to sustain me. Um, go to the next slide, Laura. Um, we also are joined with, it's always interesting talking about yourself, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Um, so the next is um, Scott Kendall. Now, Scott is a messaging specialist and he's one of the experts that we're bringing in. He's from South Africa and he's had over 20 years of marketing experience in different spaces. He's worked with over 500 clients across a dozen countries. Um, and we've really got Scott in to talk about the captivating one-liner, which Laura will go into a little bit later. And then we have ben, Dr. Ben Co, who we all know and love, and Ben is here to support us in kind of in giving us feedback from, uh, from the perspective of somebody who has worked with a lot of clients and knows what works and what doesn't. So he'll be here to give you real life feedback on your actual um, coaching businesses. Right. So with that, I'm going to pass it over to Laura Craig, who's going to deep dive into what, um, what this is all about. So thanks, Laura. Thanks, Sarah. 
Um, hey everybody, it's really good to meet you all on the call tonight. I'm really excited to be able to share this program with you. Um, it is an exceptional program and like both Sarah and Ben have already said, it's been designed by coaches for coaches, which makes it really powerful for you. I think no matter where you are in your coaching um, journey, I guess, as Sarah likes to say. Um, so a little bit about me. So Sarah touched on a few, a few things um, in my history. I've worked for over 10 years in big corporate marketing, but more importantly and specifically to this, I think that makes me very strategic, but more importantly and specifically for you guys, for the last three years, I have been coaching small to medium sized businesses who are just in their startup phase or um, uh, a bit more progressed and even um, now we've actually just been acquired by a really big digital marketing agency, one of the biggest in Australia and we have a huge amount of strategic and um, executional horsepower behind us as well. So anything that you guys might need during the program, we have kind of within our network to help support you with. So. Um, I'm also very privileged to be running this course with Sarah and Ben. So Sarah has, is very modest and has built two extremely successful multiple, or I guess that means multiple six figure businesses in coaching. So she's actually done what you guys are about to do or currently doing. And so throughout this program, we've actually um, inserted lots of coaching examples for you guys. And the other brilliant thing about the group scenario is that you'll all be sharing your own experiences or ideas for each other so that you'll be kind of in a coaching environment where everybody understands the problems, needs, solutions, what works, what doesn't work. People have tried it before, try, they, share, they share their experiences. So it's a really powerful environment to be in for coaches as well. I have also actually, I'm still currently um, doing the marketing and lead generation for one of the most prestigious um, executive coaches in Australia. So he has coached three of the four bank CEOs, which is an incredible feat. Um, and so we've, we've been obviously utilizing a lot of these strategies that we're going to teach you in this course very successful already. So you are definitely in the right place. So I'm just going to take you through the structure of um, the, the courses. And uh, like Sarah actually said, the foundations, I believe the foundations is for absolutely everybody. I've gone into really big companies before and I've looked at some of their foundations and I'm like, oh, that positioning is off or are you sure that, you know, you want to target that niche or, um, you know, maybe we need some innovation in this space or a new product here. And I feel like it's, it's always worth going back and working on your business instead of just in your business. So when we used to work in big brand land, we would literally revisit the foundations every single year to say, is this still our target market? Are the insights about our target market or their problems still true? Is this working? Even just audit what's going on, right? And, and say, is this working? Do I need to tweak it? And even being able to sound um, that sound bite that, I guess, with the rest of the group is really powerful as well. So the foundations is a six week program and we have actually already run this program. I've run this program with lots of other businesses, the structure of it, but we've run this the coaches version for coaches um, with a New Zealand group, as Sarah said, and, and um, we've got some video testimonials from them. I'd love to share with you as well, but they absolutely loved it. And the value of um, being in, in the coaching calls once a week with everybody in the team. We also give you homework to think about at the time, uh, to, to you know, work on during the week. And then we have the call and, and the structure of the call is really um, powerful as well in actually helping you build your business with us. So we want you to basically build your business with us so that you're ready to, at the end of the six weeks, present back where you're at. And then hopefully you come along and do the intermediate with us as well. And then you have a digitally savvy business as well at the end of that. And so we literally will build your business with you every step of the way. So the structure of the training has been broken up into each call is 45 minutes of learning and development. And that will be based on the homework. And then 45 minutes of um, workshopping your businesses. So we'll take real life examples. And I find that this always works the best because when we start to say, you know, for example, um, if I, if I picked somebody and I said, 
even I'll just use Sarah for this example, but Sarah, okay, let me know um, what niche have you chosen? What target market have you chosen? Why have you chosen it? And we workshop it live on the call and other people provide feedback and examples and, and it really helps her get very clear on actually what her outcome is. So the workshopping part of it, I think is really important. So you really do get live kind of feedback and it feels like a more intimate course than, than just uh, us preaching or teaching to you. So within week one of the course, we'll be going through your niche and target market. And this will, what will this will do for you guys is just provide direction, focus and clarity. This is what all my clients tend to say when they, when they walk in, they're a bit overwhelmed and they're kind of like, I've got so many ideas, but I'm just like, I don't know where to start. And by the time that they've sort of um, gone through the course with us and, and really um, been given a pathway, they feel a lot calmer and they, have, they feel like they've got the tools and the systems that they need to actually progress their business forward. So that's our, our mission to leave you kind of in a place where you're like, right, I've got this now. I can, I can actually grow my business to the next level. So in week two, we then look at um, your brand identity and I'll take you through a little bit more about what we kind of talk about with, to do with your brand identity, but this is all about positioning, about your competitive advantage. So how are you different in the market and, and um, how, what gives you your edge? Week three, we look at your products. And there's so many great ways that you can, you can grow your business. You can get more people more often buying more. Right, So there's three different ways that you can grow your business. So we look at basically how we can get more people in the door. How do we get them coming back more often? Is it bundling? Is it, is it um, different programs for different subjects, for instance? Or, um, and then how do we get them buying more? So are you doing you know, maybe um, an online coaching program like this at the same time? Or uh, there's so many different things that we can kind of workshop with you guys. And like I said before, the benefit is you're all coaches in the room. And so you actually are all workshopping a very similar model. And it's really powerful to actually do it together and get ideas from each other. So in week four, we are really excited about bringing in our copywriter and marketeer, Scott, to work with you guys on your captivating one-liner. So this is so powerful for networking, for headlines, for uh, even the headline on your website when you get there if, or if you're not there already. Um, but if you, if you kind of are walking into a networking room, for instance, and you tell somebody you're a life coach, I mean, like they turn off straight away, right? I mean, it's, it's a dime a dozen. You're not unique in any way. It's very generic, you know, but what we're going to do for you in this course in, in week four is actually dig way deeper into who it is you're, well, obviously we're look, looking at who you're targeting, but, but what it is you're providing and what value you're providing. And we're going to really craft something exciting for you to be able to open with if you're talking to somebody about what it is that you do. And it's going to be a lot more specific than life coach. Um, then we're going to look at lead generation. So loads of different forms of lead generation. So each of these topics has got around about 10 different tactics in there of um, how to do different things, where to look, what to, um, what to say, you know, groups, so powerful. There's so many groups um, on different platforms or in real life that we can point you in the right direction of and then how to create raving fans as well so raving fans you know through things like video testimonials reviews um, how do you get people talking for you how can you give them incentives how can you get referrals really proactively promote referrals so this is really designed to actually give you the really great foundations, give you the confidence that you need to, because confidence is everything. So, I mean, that quote, doubt kills more dreams than failure ever will. I mean, that, I think really proficient business um, psychologists say that building a business is 90% psychology, right? And only 10% of, of it is actually then putting it into action. <laughs> Because if you don't wake up in the morning feeling like you're confident that you've got a great product and you can do this and, and you, need, you need that energy to propel you throughout your day and to actually build your business. Um, so confidence is something that you need to always kind of make sure you're working on the, your psychology, which is kind of why um, it's so good to be in a supportive network of coaches and also be surrounded by experts. So 
In week six, uh, then we look at joint ventures, partnerships and influences. And I've got some incredible um, structure of, of um, how you should go about like seeking joint ventures or partnerships or influences and what you should look for and what you should both expect out of the relationship and how you can actually leverage each other's lists and social media and, and make sure that you're actually doing that. So we put this program together to be like, let's sort of, you know, get you, get you rolling, get you um, off the ground in a really, um, a really kind of clear and um, powerful way that that's, that's quite um, distinctive and, also, um, you're positioned in a really good way, which is very, very important when you're building a business. So I want to teach you guys some things tonight as well, so that um, at least um, you can walk away from this webinar thinking like, I've got a few things that I can, I can put into practice. So niching is literally one of the most important things that you could possibly do, like when you're launching a coaching business, right? So a lot of people, think that they want to target everyone, they don't want to exclude everyone. And to be honest, if you're everything to everyone, you end up being nothing to no one. So what we do with you is we help you determine what your niche is going to be. Then we look at, right, who's your primary target market? So we, the reason we need a primary target market is because all of your regular kind of comms, all of your mass communications, so anything on a website or social media or anything that's sort of um, a bit wider than a one-to-one -one conversation needs to have a focus. So you need to understand what the problems and needs are of your target market so that you can resolve them. So as soon as somebody has a problem and you have a solution, they're chasing you instead of you chasing them. So we really want to be talking about problems and solutions. So then we kind of say, all right, now we've got our primary target market. Are there any other markets that we might also want to be targeting? And we might do them in more tactical ways. Um, and so you can see in this example, this is a, um, the executive coach I was working with. His primary target market was CEOs, but he also wanted to target the executive leadership team. He wanted to target minimum, middle management, high potentials within the organization. Um, and then, you know, and then coaches as well. This, in this, in this um, particular example is the HR department. So you can see that while we're not ignoring these people, we really, we really are kind of focused on, on getting these CEOs. And I want to give you a really good example of niching as well. So I want to use a lateral um, uh, an example from a from a different industry because I think it, it kind of promotes creativity and it helps you kind of think outside the box. So I have um, an osteo that I work with that he is, I mean, think about it. It's quite similar to being a coach, right? It's It could be very broad. An osteo can fix anybody's back or um, work with anybody's kind of pain or muscles. And so what we did with him in terms of niching is he, he, he decided that he wanted to be the expert for dentists, right? Because dentists are in a lot of pain the way they stand over, over their um, dentistry chairs. They're in a lot of pain, right? So he's like, I'm going to be the osteo for dentists. And as soon as we did that, as soon as we narrowed down his niche, we knew where to find our target market, right? So all of a sudden we're going to dentist conferences and we're speaking at different dentist events and there's dentist groups on Facebook and, you know, the dentists have really specific problems so that we can write messaging or copy that is really connecting with them and really resolving their specific problems, right? So I think this is one of the most difficult things to, to do and we found that um, even in our last course, people were still sort of mulling over it a few weeks after the session and we, we kept going back to it because we just felt that this, it was really valuable for them to actually be able to go, right, this is what I'm doing and this is who I am and move forward with confidence because it is just, it's the most common problem I see that people try to target everyone and they don't do this and then they end up a bit lost. So if you take something away from tonight, I would say, get yourself a niche or do a bit of research into, into what, um, what niche you might want to work with. So then we're going to build your brand identity. So we're going to look at the consumer insight, which is really just the problem of that 
person we've identified in that niche. So what is their problem? Because once again, if they have a problem we can, and we have a solution, match made in heaven, right? So it's, um, it just takes away all of that kind of awkward sales sort of stuff. If they have a problem and you're genuinely helping and adding value, it makes it a really easy transition. Then we're going to look at your competitive advantage. And this is going to really help for your one-liners as well. So your competitive advantage is what makes you unique. So how are you different from each other? And how are you different from the rest of the um, competition in the market? So other coaches, for instance. So we're going to help you define that because that's going to be really important in your elevator pitch as well. We're going to look at the functional and the emotional benefits and if and we will go a lot more into this during the course. So it's going over your head a bit right now. Don't worry about it. But um, functional and emotional benefits. So what are they benefiting from? Because as soon as we start talking in language that is focused on them instead of us, then we're, we're really starting to connect, right? So we want to be saying, what's your problem? Help me. We'll help you resolve it instead of we're the best at coaching, you know, blah, blah, blah. So it's really about turning the whole conversation around to be about them instead of about us. What's our personalities and values as a brand? What's our credibility we can fall back on? Um, and then also uh, what's your contribution and purpose as well? So we're going to dig into that. And for those of you who don't have a, a logo yet or um, a color scheme or a mood board, we'll also be doing that as an exercise, showing you where to go to get, um, to get started with that stuff, how to do it really cheaply and, and effectively, um, and how to choose your colors. We do a lot of psychology of colors stuff because your branding really matters, right? And, when, and your branding is actually also your personal brand. So you guys, I mean, people by people right? So your branding is your personal brand, but also it's the consistency of all the materials that you put into market. So we're going to help you create a really strong brand. Then we're going to look at your products. And so what I want you guys to take away from he here is that the most ideal setup of products, especially in the coaching industry, is a, val is a value ladder, essentially, which is what this is, right? It's a product architecture ladder. So what we always want to start with is some kind of free content and value. So whether that's, you know, when I'm networking with you or um, maybe I'm just having a conversation, nobody, no, nobody likes it if you jump straight into a sale. Like they don't know you, like you or trust you yet, you know? So it's much nicer to nurture a relationship, to build trust and, um, you know, basically prove your credibility first, right, with, with somebody who's, who you might be interested in, in doing business with. So what we want to do, whether it's online or offline, is create value for people. So show them that we can help them with their problems. So we'll, we'll show you how to do that and how to create a really great plan of doing that. Then the next thing is, all right, okay, so I can see that you've got some, some good thoughts or you're a little bit of a thought leader in terms of coaching. Now I want to trial your product. So I'm not going to jump necessarily straight into a core product. So straight into your 10 weeks of coaching, for instance, I want to trial it first. So I want to see if we connect. I want to see if we're the right fit. I want to see if the process suits me. So we might have like a 50% off your first session. We might, some, some of you might be okay with giving free sessions. I mean, I often give a free strategy session. We have consults. I try and give as much value as I can in those sessions because the reality is the more that you give away, the more people want to come back, right? So we, we want to set you guys all up with tasters. After a taster, so tasters can even be things like if you've, if you've got a book, I mean, Scott, who we're bringing along for the um, one-liner, he's written three books, so that they're great tasters, right? So we, um, you, you can put them out into market. People can read it and say, okay, yeah, this guy knows what he's talking about. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to progress with, with his core product. We'll help you um, decide what your core product looks like. So is it, is it a course or um, is it a group of people or is it one-on-one? -on -one? But if it's one-on-one, -on -one, do you have packages? So is it like a five pack or a 10 pack or maybe people just need to trial one at the beginning. So we'll workshop all of that with you and you will just see how valuable it is to have everybody in the room helping you workshop that. 
Um, and then we, we'll touch on premium and ancillary products, but this is just good to have in the back of your mind that if you, that a, a really good product love at ladder should have some more premium products in it as well. So if people want to spend more time with you that they can. Um, so this might be a retreat or it might be, you know, um, a year, a year sign up. So I'm working with a kinesiologist right now, actually, who's building year programs for his clients. Even they come to see him once a week for a whole year because he says over the course of the year, I can take you from here to here. And so, and he's actually been quite successful in selling them because he's selling outcomes. So we can help you build, um, build into premium products like that. So then we have Scott joining us to help you guys with your captivating one-liner. And I absolutely love this addition to the course. And Scott's such an asset to be able to bring along to the course because he's got 20 years experience in marketing and automation and, um, and, and copywriting as well. So this is, this is that moment where you walk into the networking event and instead of saying, I'm a life coach, you say, uh, take notice and ask, wow, who is this person, right? So wanting to know more instead of just shutting down. So messaging is so important. The way you present yourself is so important. And his captivating one-liner is, is kind of like an article headline rather than a tagline. So it, he's, it's normally longer and stronger than that. Um, it's really targeted and it comes off the niche kind of conversation we have earlier. Um, it's clear, it's intriguing, it invites your audience to find out more and more importantly, it cuts through, right? Which means it makes an impact, which means people are interested in reading on. So if you think of it like the, um, the headline on a newspaper article or a, a blog title, for instance, it's, it's something that actually makes you want to know more. And then once again, as soon as they're wanting to know more, as soon as they have curiosity, it becomes more about them chasing you than you chasing them, which is really what you want. Then we're going to look at, net, at lead generation because let's be honest, if we're, if we're going to, if you guys are probably mostly in the setup and growth phase of your business, as Sarah set up at the start. So it's literally all about sales. And then once you've exhausted your sales network around you, then it's about marketing. So, I mean, a lot of these things, networking groups, I mean, we're, we're going to be sales focused here. So that's why we're going to give you the key messages that you're going to need. Um, but also, I guess you're marketing yourself in these environments as well, right? Um, and then partnerships and influences. So this is all stuff that you don't need a website or anything to, and you don't need any digital skills to actually get started on. And I still, even now, I mean, I'm in some very premium networking groups and my, one of my new business partners actually made a million dollars out of a networking group in Australia for his business and he's in a digital marketing business. So I wouldn't underestimate the power of it if you can do it really well and really effectively. So that's our foundations course. So that's six weeks program. And then, then we transition into our intermediate. So we actually used to do these two programs together, but we just thought that we'd pull them apart so that we could give people the, the choice as to whether to do just one. If I mean, Doing just the foundations is absolutely perfect for somebody who's not sure if they want to transition into coaching or they're still working in their corporate job or, you know, but they want to sort of dip their toe in the water and say, okay, well, if I was to do it, what would it look like? And then I'll have more confidence to transition. And then you'll probably find you want to come and do the intermediate with us anyway after that. But it's really good for understanding and getting clarity and getting direction, right? And then the intermediate, we start to really propel you into the digital world and, and more sort of marketing tactics. So it's designed to build on what we've just done in the foundations, but we look much more at your creative strategy. So by now you'll have your one liner, but then we look at all the other kind of content that you've put into market to build your um, thought leadership. And I mean, a good, a good thing for you guys to be doing now, if you're not on LinkedIn, I would say everybody needs to get onto LinkedIn because there's this thing called articles on LinkedIn as well, where you can actually publish blogs or um, opinion pieces and you don't need a website. So it's, it's a really, really effective tool. We're going to help you with your creative strategy. So like I said, other messages that you're going to put into market. 
We're going to then help you with your social media content marketing. So Facebook and LinkedIn, I think we're going to focus on. Then we're going to look at advanced LinkedIn in this course because it's just, it's so good for lead generation. So many of my leads come from LinkedIn and we've got um, both actually the executive coach that I, that I coach as well as Sarah, both, we both have their LinkedIn hooked up and they're, they're starting to generate leads as well. So it's, we're going to teach you how to do that, which is really, really exciting. Then we're going to teach you how to create ads. Um, and we're literally going to give you the videos of how to set them up and we're going to be setting them up together. So, so you guys will have us as support in, in, in kind of troubleshooting, like, you know, is, is this kind of copyright in my ad or, um, is this the right image or, um, you know, how can I, how can I optimize this? And then we're going to help you build a landing page as well. So this is absolutely perfect if you don't have a website, but you want to get something up that is, um, you know, just representing who you are as a coach so that if you kind of are a networking event and you give out a, a, a business card, then you can actually send them to a website because the first thing people often do is Google you, right? So you can actually send them to or you look you up online. So send you can send them to a landing page. And after that, we're going to be focusing on converting to sale because we, um, I'm massive on the conversion funnel. So it's not just how to attract leads, but how do you capture them, engage them and convert them? So we want to make sure that we're converting into clients. And then after that, we look at kind of upselling and, um, you know, elongating the relationship, however that might look, but converting to a sale is really important. So we've got, um, this is, this is just sort of a overview of what your creative strategy might look like. You might have your one liner at the top and then you'll have some content areas that you're an expert in. And this will be based on your niche and then we'll come up with like, okay, are you going to write a blog or are you going to do a few videos or is there a collaboration you could do with somebody else to leverage their list or a joint venture, for instance, a partnership. So we'll look at no matter where you are in your journey, we'll look at what's right for you at this time. Um, and also what's so great about doing courses like this is even if you're not quite ready to do a video series yet or ready to do a blog yet, you'll know that that's your next step when you kind of are wanting to expand or progress, right? So you kind of have all the knowledge at the beginning to then go, all right, what is my next step? So as I said, we're going to be focusing on um, social media content marketing, LinkedIn and ads, building landing pages. And then this is one of my favorite, um, my favorite parts of this course. It's actually helping you convert to sales. So we're going to actually give you scripts and templates for 10 minute fact finder calls, 45 minute strategy calls. This is actually, these are actually um, created to help you uh, provide value. Like I said, I'm, I'm not a really a hard sales kind of person and neither is Sarah. We like to provide a lot of value um, and, then, and then help you close at the end. So it'll really set you up for success. And then I'm just going to very quickly touch on advance, but um, we wouldn't probably progress anybody to advance unless they'd done um, at least the intermediate course. But really what you need to have to be in the advanced sort of level is um, a, a, at least a website and some online presence. So we can look at then really optimizing your website. We look at advanced funnels, so different kinds of funnels. So it might be SEO and AdWords at the front as well as Facebook ads or and, and maybe some LinkedIn and then we'll pull, pull them to landing pages and how we're going to convert them and then put them into email automation systems and CRM systems as well. So basically that's what this whole program is designed to do. It's designed to actually create some automation within your business, which is um, which is a really exciting place to be. And that's kind of the stage that we've gotten to. Um, Sarah's been, Sarah's two businesses have been at the stage for quite a while now, but it's kind of where you want to get to if you kind of really want to progress your business. We also look at some local area marketing and PR sort of stuff as well to, to progress to you forward further. So I just want to, um, show you a couple of little video testimonials for some guy from some guys that have just um, 
finished our program. So this is Len Page. All right. I'll try and turn the sound up as high as I can. going to work. Hey, my name is Andy and I just want to give a massive shout out to Laura, Sarah and the team at Momentum Coaching. You know, recently I started up my own business, which I'm really excited about. But there's one thing to be excited about a business and it's an entirely different thing to run a business. And so the reason I did this course was to upskill myself really to grow and learn the things that I had no clue about. And that's one of the things I really loved about this course is that Sarah and Laura, they know this stuff. And there's a great quote that says, success leaves clues. Well, these girls know what they're talking about. They've been there, they've done that, and uh, they're leading the way. And so um, I can't encourage you enough to get in behind it uh, for your own sake. They're great people, it's great content. And um, I think if you're looking to take your business to the next level, uh, these are the people to do it through. So I can't recommend them highly enough. Um, all the very best. So that was Andy who just uh, finished our business momentum for coaches a couple of weeks ago. So you guys can, I'll let you guys um, look at more video testimonials in your own time. I'll just show you two now, but um, yeah, these are, these are guys that have just finished with us. Hi, I'm Sha, and um, I was part of the Business Momentum course for coaches in December 2018. I really loved being part of that cohort. Um, we learned a lot together. There were um, ample opportunities to learn lots of strategies, uh, tips and techniques to uh, market your business and develop a, a brand for your business. Prior to joining the course, I spent about a year just trying things on my own. So although I wouldn't say that's wasted effort, um, joining a, a program like this will get you, give you the right tools and techniques right from the start, which um, will save you a lot of time. Um, it was fun. We had a great time as a group and we learned a lot. So yeah, check it out and see if it's for you. Awesome. Right. So I just want to go through again and just quickly revisit the foundations and the intermediate because I think that they're the kind of two that we're looking at tonight. If you, if you feel like you're at the advanced stage and you want to chat to us more about that, then absolutely on the landing page we'll send you to, there is an opportunity to say to chat to one of us and we'll, we'll, we'd love to talk to you about that. But um, like I said, even when I work with bigger businesses, I always bring them back to the foundations and we always find ways to improve their business from the ground up. So, and, and um, in week four of this course, there's the captivating one-liner and this is, a, this is like a, a must attend. So, and it'd be really good for your business to set up that captivating one-liner. So the course, the next course we're running starts on Monday, the 11th of March um, at 5 p.m. Singapore time. And we've got another one running on Wednesdays, um, starting on the 13th of March at 3 p.m. Singapore time. So you can actually um, decide which, which course you want to join us on. So it's six consecutive weeks. So, and it's an hour and a half every week. And, and like I said, um, this is broken down into 45 minutes of training and then 45 minutes of workshopping your business. There's two to three experts on every call, which is super high amount to have on a training program like this and then it's fantastic because we, we come at it from such different perspectives so you get a really well-rounded kind of um, experience there's homework exercises and templates for you to do so the more you put into this course the more you get out of it absolutely <clears throat> There's a video recording of every session. So if you can't make a session or also the second half of the session, when we do the workshopping, we actually break into two groups. So you actually get the video recording of both groups. So you'll be able to go back and actually listen to what the other group was saying about how they were kind of workshopping or building the same element of their business that you're building right now. So I, I just can't um, reiterate the value of that enough. Um, it's, it's so much easier to come up with ideas when you're surrounded by other people doing the same thing. 
So we've got a Facebook group as well that we just use for communication and support. And it's really great to see whenever I run these online courses, the people are posting their mood boards and they're posting their brands and they're posting their one-liners and everybody's giving feedback and suggestions. And so you get like a, quite a lot of value from that group as well. Uh, we just had a request to keep the last group open for that, for that team because they want to keep in touch. So it's great feedback, but it's also um, really valuable. And then also you'll be building your business with us. And we've got a, a final week presentation where Ben will come in and give you some feedback on where you've got to with your business. And he's, he's clearly been such an exceptional example of somebody who's built a really thriving um, coaching business. So really great person to have come, come in and give you feedback as well. So then the intermediate starts straight after. So if you wanted to do both, you'll actually be spending three months with us building your business. So imagine what you could do in three months of every week kind of working on your business and building it with this team of people around you. It's a really powerful way to actually get some momentum into your business. So it's starting on the 22nd of April. And um, once again, it's 5 p.m. and 3 p.m. on Wednesdays as well. So the cost of these courses, we've actually kept them to a very, very cost effective course. I mean, to put this in context, I probably spent about $20,000 worth of learning and development on myself last year. Um, I, I did everything from Curl and Ray's, one of the best social media marketers in the world. I did a lot of Tony Robbins stuff. I did business mastery. I did, you know, so this is, this is exceptionally affordable. And I think that one of the best parts about this course is, is it is designed by coaches for coaches. So if you just want to do the foundations, it's 900 US for the six week program. If you, if you wanted to do just intermediate, it's 1100 for the six week program. But we have been, we have actually provided you guys with a, a special for tonight. So it's a bundle deal. And we actually, we ran this rep webinar last night. We found a lot of people ended up taking up the bundle deal because it's just such a good deal. So it's, um, if you wanted to do the foundations and intermediate and spend that three months working on your business with us, it's only 1400 US dollars. So that's a 30% discount or it's $600 off. So that's a, it's a really good, this is such a good value course. Um, we really wanted to provide you guys with a lot of value and make it, and make it cost effective because we know you've already kind of done your training with coach masters um, and the experts that you'll get access to. I mean, even if there's something that comes up in your business that isn't quite on topic, you can always write it in the Facebook group or you can, you can um, write it in the chat during during the class and, and we'd more than happy to answer any questions that you've got or any issues that you're having in your business. Because if you're having it, the chances are that other people will be having the same problem as well. So if you wanna get started with us, we do have 30 places per course available and we've already got, I think they're both around half full at the moment. So um, if you wanna get started, here is the link. Um, Sarah, do you wanna pop the link in the, chat box as well um, it, and I just wanted to really at this stage now open the floor up for questions so if anybody has any questions for Sarah Ben or myself um, regarding the course um, we'd love to answer them now if you just want to pop your question in the chat box we will uh, we'll answer them I've got a question um, it's Lisa. Um, would you guys be able to have a schedule of the offering for the full calendar year? Like, for example, if March, April aren't good timing, at least people who are thinking about it in the future can plan the three months. Um, do you have that schedule available? We are just in the process of creating that schedule. Um, as some of you may know, I am six months pregnant. So we will be having a bit of a break um, in between, just um, as it will be coming up the time when my baby is due. Um, so we will keep you in touch, or keep, yeah, we'll keep in touch with you about that. Um, 
What I will say though, is that all the sessions are recorded. So if you don't happen to be able to make it live, the session will be recorded each time. So, you know, oftentimes we have other commitments that are pre-planned. Um, so you can always either um, listen to the recording or potentially attend the alternate group for that particular week. That would be an option too. I would say, Lisa, that we're kind of looking at this stage to run another course around July, August. So um, it hasn't been confirmed yet, um, as Sarah said, but um, we, we do want to get to the stage where we're running this a few times a year. So. And the price offering would still stick and remain the same for... The price offering? Yeah. Um, I think at this stage, at this stage, yes. Um, do you have anything to say around that, Sarah? At this stage, yes, we do want to really try and make it as affordable as possible for our CMA students. Cool. Thank you. Great. And I'm just looking in the chat box here. So the times that the program will be run, we have a 3 p.m. Singapore time and a 5 p.m. Singapore time. Um, I see Charlene has just asked, is there a possibility of an 8.30 or 9 p.m. Singapore time? Unfortunately, at this stage, no. It's actually 3 in the morning for me right now. Um, and it is 1 in the morning for Laura. So, um, unfortunately, at this stage, that won't be an option. Um, so, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> She's doing well for three in the morning for a pregnant woman, hey? Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> Laura. <laughs> Commitment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Any other questions that you might have? Uh, yeah. I, I would like to know if we miss um, some of the sessions. Um, for instance, in May, I will be out of... Uh, of Romania for two weeks and I know that I will not be able to make it. So if it is like that, then we can have discussions about specific about um, my plan and my business and so on. So okay, can I have such discussions with, with, uh, with you uh, separately? Or I can, uh, in addition to looking at the uh, recording, I mean. Sarah. So we, yeah, so we will have our Facebook groups open where you can post in the Facebook group any questions that you might have or, you know, we have oftentimes the students will say, could you please give me feedback on this mm -hmm. piece of work that I've just yeah. done? And yeah. then we can all interact in the group. Mm -hmm. um, so that is a really, really valuable resource because oftentimes it's not just us that provides feedback, but your course mates are really getting involved and giving you their opinions, their, their feedback, which is really great from a consumer perspective. Mm. Okay. Alina, I would also say that um, even in week four, we had people in our last course still saying, I think this target market's right, but what do you think? You know, and so they're going back to week one content in week four and of course we just want to make sure that you get the most value out of it so we end up you know going back and if somebody's still at that at that stage we know it how important it is to nail that down so if you have a question from a different session then feel free to bring it up um, and we can kind of backtrack because there might be other people feeling the same thing as well Okay. So we do, allow, we do allow 45 minutes a session for that conversation. So you do find that we, we do tend to get around quite a few people um, and especially people that have done their homework and, and, are, and are proactive about it. Then, um, yeah, even in, in session four and five, people are asking me about their target markets and I'm like, <laughs> oh, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good though. It's good. It, it stimulates a lot of thinking. So um, it's good if they're still they're still going back over it. So okay, okay, clear. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. What other questions? I see Jeremy. You put your hand up. Yes. Um, first of all, uh, before I start into my question, I'd like to thank uh, both you, Laura and Sarah, for coming online at. Um, 
and this is very very <laughs> difficult hours to give us uh, knowledge about this course. Um, there is a yeah. So um, I do have this uh, issue right now where um, I'm still currently working full time, so it will be quite difficult for uh, persons like myself to be able to uh, attend the courses at the moment. Um, I'm just wondering, is there any sort of um, mailing list that I could subscribe to? So in the event if uh, Momentum, um, if, if, the com if your company actually is offering the uh, course or any other short courses in the future, uh, that will we be notified of it? Absolutely. And, you know, we will be aiming to run this program, um, you know, a couple of times a year, maybe, you know, not sure of the exact time for this year, but we can absolutely keep you posted. And I think just keeping an eye out on our CMA Facebook group, as well as the email blast that um, our global office sends out, just with the special updates that come about, we'll be notified that way. All right, awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Guys, I would also just say, if you're even thinking about doing this right now, like now is the best time to do anything, right? So there never seems to be a good time in life to do things. And if you're kind of on the fence about whether or not um, you're, you're kind of wanting to move forward with this program, I mean, I would always say, like I said, I spent probably about $20,000 on learning and development last year. And they're the, it's the best money I've spent on my business because your business will only grow to the extent you're willing to grow yourself. Right. And, and business skills are that it's a whole different kettle of fish to coaching. So, I mean, you've invested in yourself so much so far to build your coaching skills. I mean, I think that, that now is the right time, no matter where you are to actually begin this journey, because you, you find in business, you only get better and better and better and you, and you build and you build and you build. And so it, that's why I think that quote, you don't have to be great to get started, but you've got to get started to become great is, is so important. I mean, I remember I did my first video, I filmed my first video and it took me like four hours to film it like a, a three minute video, you know, and now I can get in front of the camera and it doesn't bother me at all. So it's, it's just, it's, it's just practice, right? And um, developing your skills and developing that muscle as the CMA guys like to say. Yeah, that's great. Thanks, Laura. And I think, you know, it is about nudging our comfort zones. And if ultimately what it is that we want to do is to be a professional coach and set up our coaching practice, this is the right environment to do so. And so even if you're not sure if you want to engage in the full shebang, even just starting with the foundations course and just kind of dipping your toe in the water and seeing if it feels like it might be something that you want to engage in further, then you can always do that at a later date. Um, so I think, you know, it's about trusting ourselves, trusting where we're at on our coaching journey and, you know, trusting the fact that if it is something that we want to do, um, ultimately, you know, maybe just, just dip your toe in the water and see how it evolves for you. <laughs> Great. So I think we had heard a lot from Sarah and Laura in regards to this program. So this is an integrated part of CMA program. So it's not kind of like we sell it to third party to do it. That's why we are able to offer you it at a very, very valuable price. Okay. For some 900 is a lot, but think about doing this program outside. Just learning the Facebook lead and all this stuff like that. You, all you need to do is just go to the Google and just Google at your local market how much that is. And you will be learning together with a group of people that are not coaches. So you don't have that advantage of having the feedback. And what makes this investment useful is that I will be here to critique your final product. You know, just... Just last week, we managed to get a deal with 1,500 of senior leaders for Microsoft to be coached. There must be some think that works 
and that's where <laughs> I'm going to use that. And, and, and things and, working, yes. <laughs> and try, <laughs> nobody's going to tell you that. Nobody's going to tell you that. Okay? What is that trade secret? Unless you are a personal dis student, a disciple, or you had some investment around learning that from that guru or the expert that makes it work. If not otherwise, you had to figure it out yourself by trial and error. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's, and that's expensive. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. So if you are planning to start a coaching practice, the way to get started is to do something about it. Don't just wait. I see a lot of coaches just spending too much time waiting. I'm not sure why they're waiting. They're just waiting for something to strike them or something to appear. No, the way to get started is to get yourself into the momentum and start figuring out one step at a time. One of the biggest problems with coaches is that they try to get the whole piece in one shot. Not going to work. You just have to start with just one piece at a time. Get your clear on your niche. Get clear on your messaging. The product line, don't worry. It will evolve as you put the pieces together. But the key here is you start doing something about it. The second pitfall is some of us trust our common sense. And that's a dangerous thing. Common sense is not common action. There's a lot of things we all know it. And that's the one that's limiting you from moving forward, is to learn it from the expert. Okay, is to put yourself in an environment where you can hear, see, feel. You actually, what is most valuable for every training is not just the content, but the DNA of the trainer. So you're actually buying the ethos of that trainer which you see as an expert or who has proven himself to show that they know how to get the things right and you're just learning the ethos the mindset how they position that's the most valuable part of it who doesn't know that you need a niche tell me who doesn't know that you need to have a one-liner who doesn't know that the problem is we just think that we know it and knowing it we thought it's just Good enough. Now you had to get started. And that is where we want to make sure you have the right understanding on how to get the basic thing right and do it. And at the same time, put you in a support system where you feel this, that we are all doing it together like a cohort. Think about your first level training. What keeps you moving to the end? It's a rigorous training. But what keeps you moving to the end? is that cohort, that support group of talking the same language, crying together, <laughs> okay, and then celebrating at the end of the, the journey. So this is the most valuable part. Now, trust me, you can just go outside of this program and do it with other provider, okay? But that's, but you're going to miss out these two, three critical components. That is number one, the learning group that shares the same language. Second, the, the critics, the feedback on your final product. And the third one, I'm sure you might not get exactly the price that you're actually getting. Okay, so if you already set out your mind that in my next lap, I'm going to build my business. For some of you, it might be one year down the road or maybe two years down the road. Then now is the right time. Why? You don't wait until two years in ahead of you, then you start thinking about your niche, you start to think about your one-liner. It is too late already because it is an evolution. It will evolve. It will change. You will find you it. You will modify it as you move forward. So this is a good time to get the right understanding and start to experiment with it so that when the time comes, you know that you're almost there to make an impact with the final product. Okay? Good. So any questions for our two precious ladies here <laughs> in regards to some of the uh, programs, expectations, and learning? Good. Great. So if not, let's give our two ladies a round of applause. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Good. So the offer remains within 24 hours for the bundle package. The reason why we needed that information is mainly because the deadline is coming close and we already have almost three quarters of it filled up already. And so we just want to make sure that we, we know how to manage it if it went over, over, over time. And we also want to be wise in terms of managing our resources because 3 and 5 p.m., you know, we just want to make sure that we get the statistics and do some planning around it, given the short time frame. Okay, good. So you, you will be followed up with an email from Sarah. Sarah will be getting back to you, uh, you know, whatever that is. If you have decided that to come on board, uh, what's the best way to do this, Sarah? How would they register? So right if, now? Everyone, if everyone could look in the chat box, I'll just oh, post okay. it again, the link, and just click on that link and it will go through to the landing page. Mm. Um, so we just want to let you know also that if it is something that you really do want to do and finances are holding you back, because we know that a lot of you have invested in your training. We can have a discussion around a payment plan option if that will make it the right time for you to do it now. Um, so just wanted to put that out there also because we don't want money to be something that gets in the way of you actually moving forward towards your purpose as a professional coach. So yeah, just wanted to put that out there too. Thank you. So you can register via the link. And if you have further questions, just send it to Maya first and then we will help you to direct to Sarah uh, just in case you don't have an email. Okay. Yeah, good. I so, can put my email in here too. Oh, good. Just, that's great. Good. Oh, there's one more question, uh, Sarah, yeah. Alina. Yeah. Um, if you are going to have these two programs, one at three and one at five different days, um, would it be possible to switch between them if, if there is a case or it's a situation like we are doing in, in Ben's uh, <laughs> uh, courses? We are sometimes uh, making again, coming again, or is it possible? I think that we can definitely allow for that if it's the exception rather than the rule, you know, uh -huh. because we kind of do yeah. want to make sure that we've um, got even numbers so that people get as much airtime yeah, sure. as mm -hmm. possible. But if you have sort of, you know, upfront two sessions that you're like, can I do those two sessions? Then absolutely. Okay. Okay. That's good to know. Yeah. Mm. And, and if it's, for instance, for me, it's, I already have a business for, for a few years mm -hmm. and, uh, and I have a logo on my company and, and, and the landing page and things like that. Um, I want to, to grow from, from that. So, mm -hmm. uh, so um, would it be okay with this being in this stage? Absolutely. I mean, I, I I think we had um we had quite a few people in our previous course that were a bit more progressed and um, were coming at it from different angles. And so it's just about asking good quality questions, right? You know, some of these tactics, even in the foundations, I still use now and we're quite progressed you know so it's just about um that's why i really believe everybody should go back and and revisit the foundations and 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 look at some of those i mean i've yep. i've just had a partnership go through that has like absolutely catapulted my business you know so and this is another partnership i'm running with sarah now so i think focusing on partnerships and joint ventures you can just focus at them on them at a higher level right so these tactics build on each other will build on themselves yeah. over time, each of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. yeah, thank you. Very clear. Mm -hmm. Great. Great. So I'm not holding you guys back. Uh, just a quick announcement. Um, next week, don't forget about our learning webinar, uh, A Continuous Professional Development. We have uh, at uh, 8.30 on the uh, co uh, coaching conversation as a learning conversation. And then we have a live coaching demonstration at 3 p.m. Singapore time. Okay, so registration is required to get the link. So the registration is found in our website under webinar, so you can able to get the link. So with that, see you everybody. Take care. Bye. See you everyone. Thanks, everyone. Thanks. Have a good night. Bye. Thanks.